<clears throat> you have such strength, even at the mercy of your memory. None of that matters. Just put Riku back. <laughs> Just put him back? The Riku you speak of has but one fate to sink into the darkness. And you will share that fate, Sora. If you continue to seek the girl Namine, the shackles will tighten. You'll lose your heart and end up becoming Marluxia's pawn. Marluxia? What does Namine have to do with... Ugh. Uh, Axel! Yo, Sora. Did I catch you at a bad time? <laughs> Axel, why? I came to stop you from talking too much. By eliminating your existence. No, don't do it! We are just nobodies who have no one to be, yet we still are. But now you can be nothing instead of just being a nobody. You're off the hook. No! Please don't! I don't want to- Goodbye. What are you? What are you people? Don't know. I wonder about that myself. Hello everyone and welcome back to Mistledyne Online. We are playing Riku's story here in Chain of Memories. Reverse Rebirth Mode on Proud Mode, of course. The hardest difficulty in the game. NBD. In the last episode, we took down Ursula over in Atlantica and in this episode, we are going to continue on. Now, it is worth mentioning that we took down Ursula by the skin of our teeth. Like, I I struggled way too hard on her. Way too hard. Anyways, let's go to Olympus Coliseum. We are going to save my favorite worlds, one of my favorite worlds in Kingdom Hearts entirely, for the next episode. Now, this episode could theoretically be relatively short. I'm going to try to see what I can do about that. Uh, I know we already did a rather short episode, so I don't really want to do that again. Uh, but, but there isn't much to do in Olympus Coliseum. It's not really worth fighting here. And we get the key to beginnings, of course. It's not really worth leveling up here. I don't think, anyways. Olympus Coliseum. Okay, so... Right off the bat, let's just go ahead and look at our deck now. So if we look at our deck, we will see that we have relatively high cards, except for our last uh, combo here. We have three zeros, which is actually great, and three ones. However, we also have the Power Wild Enemy card. Reverses the values of cards one through nine. Not really important, except for the fact that that means that we have access to two uses of Dark Aura, while we are in dark mode, which is absolutely huge. Through the roof, huge. Huge. So that's going to be super important. Uh, but we're not going to be relying on that card, in fact. We're going to be relying on our genie Jafar, which if I just go ahead and show you him, you will notice that all of the enemies that we fight here, a lot of them tend to have very low cards, at least significantly, significantly lower than what we have, which is always, always nice. Now, like I said, I don't totally recommend leveling up, so I'm I'm going to I'm going to fight people off screen. But for you, you sh you viewer, you should probably just continue to to get to the key to beginnings card. All right, we 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 completed this room, and something that I discovered uh, that I think is super important for you guys as well is actually using your duels. If you can get a duel off and you can quickly switch to your three zeros, you will automatically be pretty much guaranteed to win that duel, which is which is very, very nice. Now, I'm actually going to choose Martial Waking here, which is going to kind of render what I just said completely useless, but that's okay. And as always, I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, and clear this darn room, man. We cleared the room! We still didn't get a level up, but 
you know what? That's fine. At least we cleared the room. Uh, now, from here, let's just use the Sleeping Darkness, uh, just because might as well get the jump on everything, right? Like, that's always useful. I will say that the enemies here don't give as much experience as they did in Atlantica, so there is uh, very little reason to fight here, but again, it's something I like to do, so I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Three rooms. We just completed three rooms, and we still did not get a level up. So we're, we'll go ahead. I, I don't know why I did that. And we'll use another room right here. We need a three or higher. Let's go with Teeming Darkness just because, well, we need we need to fight, right? And, of course, as always, let's go ahead and uh, clear this room, you know? Oh, look at that. Right after I said that we didn't get a level, we got a level and we hit level 35, so we can put a point into our attack points. And now we just became even stronger than ever before. I guess. I mean, it's always worth it, right? Like that, getting getting that is 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 really really useful. All right, we uh we got through it, right? We got through this room. We didn't really level up at all, which kind of stinky, which is kind of stinky, but that's okay. We're going to use an Almighty Darkness uh, Zero here. The reason for that is just simply because I want to reset the amount of uh, values that we need to get to the next map card. Because we're actually just going, for the most part, to ignore all of these enemies, climb up here. Uh, oh my god. Anyways, like I was saying, I really, really, really want to get over here so I can use a, uh, I wanted a one card so that I could go ahead and use one of my moments reprieve. Just because I absolutely, absolutely recommend having a save point before we continue to the key of beginnings of this world because it is actually very, very challenging. So I'm gonna go ahead and save and then we will, we will do battle. And once you're saved, we wanna continue on Use the key to beginnings. We need a 30, 30 value. That's going to be quite challenging. I'm going to go ahead. Oops, not what I wanted to do, but that's okay. We need an 8. Uh, do we even have an 8? Oh, my God. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use my bottomless darkness here because I don't really like my bottoms, my my darkness bottomless. You know what I'm saying? Oops, oops, didn't mean to do that. I meant to use a key to beginnings. All right, so we can use this, and then we can do battle against... The boss of Olympus Coliseum, which is none other than Zeus! Just kidding, it's Hades. It's Hades, or James Woods! Unfortunately, he doesn't speak in this game, which makes me very sad because he's got what a wonderful character. All right, so right off the bat, we are going to see if we can get in a card duel with him. Now, he is going to have some very high-level cards. Unfortunately, we're going to have to pretty much break through everything that we have. I don't think we're going to be able to. Oh, my God, we did it. So right off the bat, we will be able to get a barrage on him, which is going to do a tremendous amount of damage. And then we're going to head and break him. Now, something that is super important here that you want to keep doing no matter what is you actually want to try to enter dark mode as quickly as humanly possible. Dark mode is your is the only real way that you are going to be able to defeat Hades. He is incredibly hard. Now, luckily for us, we do, of course, have our zero cards that we can wait. Hit him with those as soon as we can. And that will break him. We can use that. Uh, I don't know what we can do here. That was able to card break him, which is good. Okay, break him yet again. Break him again. Ah, uh, I thought maybe we could. There we go. Come on, we're just gonna wait for his cards, and we will enter darkness mode. Once we do that, we want to switch and go ahead and use dark break. He's going to hit us with that, but we are going to go ahead and switch and use inverse mode. Hopefully, he doesn't use any any zero cards against us. That's going to do a lot of damage against him. Now, more importantly, what we want to do now is we want to switch to our Power Wild card. We want to go ahead, switch, and use all of our Dark Aura cards, and then we can hit him with Dark Aura, and down goes Hades. Now, of course, we didn't have to do that just because we had him so low at health, but if you can hit Dark Mode and be able to use your Power Wild card, you will then have two uses of Dark Aura, which will rip through Hades, absolutely destroy him. 
and we get the Hades card for defeating him. That actually went much better than the first fight against him did. Sometimes I don't even know what my commentary is during boss fights because I am just, I'm so hyped. Uh, it's, it's crazy, man. All right, so let's take a look at our Hades card. Hades, where are you, baby? Right here, boost the power of attack cards when low on HP. You will very rarely ever use that. Like, seriously, you will very rarely, very rarely ever use it. Now, of course, we only have one place that we can go, and that is to this room over here, which is going to lead us, of course, to Conqueror's Respite. All right, how are you guys? How are you guys doing today? How are you liking this series, the Kingdom Hearts series. I am really enjoying doing it, and I can't wait to actually be able to get to uh, Kingdom Hearts 2, a main entry in the game. I feel like it's been forever since we were actually able to play a game that didn't rely solely on uh, a card system, if you will. Now, I'm actually not going to do any battle here just because I don't think it's worth it. We're gonna just head right- Oh no, what? That was weird, I got stuck on the door. Okay, let's just go through. And we will find ourselves, of course, in Conqueror's Respite. Nice and easy, lemon squeezy. Now, uh, that wasn't that wasn't too bad of a world. I'm a little afraid that the episode's gonna be super short, but, you know, I wanna make sure that we are able to do one episode per, per video. Uh, you know what? We actually don't need to save here, so let's just continue through. That's it, Olympus Coliseum, done, man. and we find ourselves on the basement fifth floor exit hall. Interesting, interesting stuff. Let's go ahead and continue to the fourth floor entrance hall. Vexen is no more. Yes, his scent is gone. Axel struck him down, something I find deplorable. Agents of the organization striking each other down. Our problem is Sora. Vexen proved to be no match for him. Yet he's still under Namine's control. But we cannot eliminate Sora, can we? Correct. For our superior, he is in dire need of the Hero of Light. When Light loses sight of its path, we may find use for the dark. What we must do is obtain the darkness. Riku, of course. Just one card left. If I get through this, will I be free of the darkness? When the hero of light loses his path, they may find some use for the hero of the dark. Interesting. So it looks like Organization 13, at least Lexius and Zexion are, are setting their sights for Riku. Now, something that's super interesting to me is the fact that Vexen is defeated. Now, we saw this, of course, in Sora's story, but very interesting that Riku doesn't have to see Vexen again anymore. Thank you all for watching this episode. If you did enjoy it, be sure to drop a like. It's super appreciated, and subscribe if you haven't. Showing up on screen right now is the playlist for the Chain of Memories original Sora story, as well as a video that YouTube has specifically chosen specifically for you. And of course, there is the Patreon button. Please, please go check it out. See if you like the reward system. And if you do, consider consider subscribing to Patreon. For just a dollar a month, you can get early access to these videos. Thank you all for watching, and remember, never give up, never surrender to the darkness.